Uh, so I am uh, Matthew Gutrell, as you heard. I am the chair of the American Studies Department uh, and a professor of Africana Studies, American Studies, and Ethnic Studies. And I'm here to talk about American Studies 1500, or Broadway Modern, which is a class um, on the um, really focused on getting you to think critically uh, in a deeply theorized way about a kind of disposable, forgettable American popular icon, musical theater. I think most people don't think uh, carefully or critically about musical theater, and I, I want to encourage this group to think uh, deep and hard about this material object in front of you. Um, I am someone who teaches class, classes rather on American popular culture generally, race uh, and popular culture and political culture more specifically. A few years ago, I taught a class called Global Macho, which was a class on action movies, race and class. Uh, and in that class, we reproduced the entire Kill Bill Volume 1 uh, as a unit and then showed it at the Providence Public Library. So I, I'm a believer both in thinking hard about popular culture and also in getting the class to do collaborative work together and doing sort of interesting uh, artistically based, but again, deeply theorized um, performance pieces, not like broadcast on YouTube, so nothing to be embarrassed about, but nevertheless, um, sort of interesting way to get the class to think hard about what it is that's actually accomplished in musical. Um, this class, Broadway Modern, has four objectives that I want you to be aware of. And the first, of course, is a kind of history of musical theater running from opera and ragtime right up to the present and looking into the future. And I think this too is a kind of history that we need to understand and think about, um, but it makes no sense to think about um, the history of musical theater without also attending to the very specifics of individual performances and individual um, musicals themselves. So there will be much close reading and a focus as well for a second objective on thinking hard about scene, about background, about costume, about design, about narrative plot. Um, the third objective is really to think about the contemporary political context of uh, any of the musicals we might consider. And that might range from looking at the kind of blinding whiteness of Mamma Mia, which I find fascinating, to the contemporary performance of Hamilton, which I'll talk about more in a second. And then third, I want us to think about the political economy of musical theater generally. I want us to understand how a musical moves from conception to production to consumption. I want us to think about how Broadway is different than Hollywood. I want us to think about why and how in the age of Oscar is so white we have a musical like Hamilton that's produced or a resurgence uh, of something like Shuffle Along briefly on the Broadway stage. I, um, as to why winter session, I feel like this is an ideal class for winter session. And I'm not just saying that because I'm pitching it and I'm hoping that people take it, uh, although that's part of the reason. But I also recognize that musical theater is itself a kind of immersive experience. The lights go down, you're sitting there, it's you and the performance in front of you, and you're meant to be sort of swept up in it. Have your foot tap, sing the song, get lost in it. It's hard to think critically about it because you're so deeply immersed in it. It's easy to feel it because you're so deeply immersed in it. So I want to reproduce that experience through an intense three-week class, four days a week, four hours a day, plus nighttime reading. Uh, and I also want to try to build us some critical distance outside the class to really understand what musical theater is and does. The centerpiece of the class, just to give you an example of how this might work, is a day-long trip in the third week to go see Hamilton in New York City. Um, this is not just a get on the bus, get off the bus, get into the theater, and then get back on the bus and come home sort of thing, but rather a real full day in New York City. So this might include critical karaoke on the bus on the way down. Uh, it might include uh, lunch at Shake Shack. It might include a trip to the New York Public Library where there's an exhibit on Alexander Hamilton right now. It might include going down to Wall Street to see Trinity Church. It would certainly include going to the Ham for Ham midday matinee cast performance on the street where free tickets are given away. It should include a talk back with a cast member before the performance. And then on the way home, uh, it should include robust conversation about what we've just seen. Because if you haven't seen the musical, I assure you that when you leave, you'll want to talk about it. Um, so that's the centerpiece of the class. And I hope that, um, 
that not just the centerpiece, but the larger context of political theater uh, and the chance to study popular culture critically and theoretically is something that draws students to the classroom.